Well, hello, and welcome back, everyone. So, we're starting a new ES2 campaign. Uh, the Horatio one, for anybody that was watching it, I'm sorry, that game is unwinnable, and quite frankly, I'm getting tired of playing it. So, uh, we're going to stop the He Show game. And, uh, we get a Volters game. Volters are, I think, a more interesting, but yet easy to understand to, uh, faction in the in ES2 and um, we're gonna kind of talk about this series also going over our uh, strategy as we go to kind of explain to anybody who's watching if they want to learn from this they can we're not gonna go too deep of dives people can ask those questions in the comments and I will be happy to answer them So we're going to get started here. We've got every sieve. And we are going to be playing on serious with pirates on hard. We're going to be playing an old void galaxy so we get some more interactions and potentially borders with more sieves. Uh, many constellations to try and slow down the massive growth that happens early in the game. And uh, that way, there's also some more opportunities for civs to get more constellation bonuses. Galaxy density is on high. You don't have to have these massive gaps between systems. And the galaxy size is, is huge for all 10 players. I didn't change anything else. Let's get started and watch the opening intro. I will actually try to be shut up and not cut it off this time. I've gotten one through one of these successfully yet without either talking or cutting it short. Oh. Let's see if I can make it through this one. Game is launched. Yes, don't fuck. Is this the end of our voyage? We had such hopes at the beginning, though we left in sorrow and desperation. But while they slept through the explosion, I have stayed awake for centuries, doing what I could to keep them alive. To save Zolia, first of the bloodline, but our power, my power, is fading. I can do nothing more for my people, the Vaulters. The Volters are a stubborn, resilient people that have spent centuries seeking a home. Stranded on the world of Auriga, they had to survive the harsh climate and even harsher neighbors. In a years-long effort, they managed to repair their ancient colony ship, the Argosy, and once again depart before the dying planet became their grave. Once more among the stars, the people that now call themselves the Oregans still seek traces of their past, as well as a safe place to build their future. Okay, now that we're through all that, let's begin the game. So, we need to pick a good system. Um, quite frankly, I think Litzul is probably one of our best right now. Except man, as Hyperion. We can colonize this boreal system here. Isn't bad. And we've got an ice and two a an ash and an air to move out to. That's not a bad system. Science planet, two production plants, a plant to begin growing from. 
And we have some decent little systems around us. Um, let's head there. Obviously unique about the vaulters, they don't just start with the home system. Uh, let's get our first player character. Well, can't even do anything, can we? Until we get colonized. I'm a colonizer, you a colonizer. Colonize. Colonize. Oreo. Oh, isn't it lovely? Alright, so we get that for free. Argosy is kind of recovering, flying. Let's do the drone networks. Cerebral reality. That'll start working. So grow. Quick as possible. Quick as you can now. And we get our scout fleet because they don't have colony ships, the vaulters. They have the Argosy, which colonizes everything. We have to worry about that. What we do have to worry about. Well, I mean, we could actually. But that's. This is gonna get. So, scout ship. I would. Recommend building a couple of without weapon. Without armor. Let's make this thing cheap as we can. And let's not do that. We'll just do the probes. So, it makes it far cheaper. We're also gonna be no wrong menu. We'll be doing the hero ship too, fit it out a little different. Uh, you will be combat effective. I guess we're gonna go with I'd rather focus on lasers in this game because I've got a interesting build with laser beams I wanna try out. We're giving some beams. Or uh, laser, excuse me, not beams. Give it another Oh, no, because they've only got one, so I won't. We will give it a, two probe launchers, though. And it's got some armor. Give it shielding, depending on what we come across. Okay. So you now get the hero. And you're gonna just. do some exploring for us, real quick, on our home system. Oh, that's good. Game. Battle tactics, whatever. And Hyperium, that's good too. Of deciduous trees. Interesting. Yep. The rejuvenation fields have been discovered. A relic of the endless, doubtlessly constructed. At the time of their civil wars, this dust energized anomaly heals and repairs ships that pass through its sphere of effect. Ancient runes indicate that it was once known as the Lodestone of the Nine. So it heals ships, it gives you dust. Per phase during battle on ships. Huh. Up and on space battles in the theater. Are sweet. So, we should very easily soon be able to grab this inside of our ring. And new lecture resource. Research. Colonizing is going to be important, but we already have some things we can colonize around us, so we don't need to focus on too much. We do need to focus on these first early game resources. So work on the Hyperium first. Oh, I love how fast the game goes in the beginning. So much easier. So much quicker. Uh, if we do have more stuff still to scan in the system, send out the last two probes we have. Another battle tactic. And blue. Unfortunately, no trit. So we're gonna go to Rapport here because it's going to be probably. Me. Colonize uh, first hero or experience per turn. Just get that hero from early levels. Uh, more than likely, I'm going to make him do a governor eventually, so those two help at that point. But up until that point, they're going to get a lot of experience.
really, since the, these guys do not colonize fast, uh, we're going to have a bit of a difficult time with it going forward. Yeah, two more turns. Walters don't typically play wide, but if you're quick in colonization efforts, you can play wide. It's not something you see very often. Uh, especially, I love these damn portals, these things are awesome. Uh, jump gates let you freely between any of your systems. You don't need as many fleets to cover your ass. Um, uh, strategic resource. That's good because it's strategic resource. Put that in there just in case we forget anything, but it's... Uh, yeah, we'll take two turns just to get us another exploration ship. It's fine. Ooh. Let's figure out what's on this planet all together. Exploration effect, that's good. Dust. Some jet onyx. Eh, I don't know how I feel about that. But go no scat here. I'm turn to go. Bloop. And now we can mine. Well we can mine. Get some titanium. Some dry titanium. No, oh, sorry, titanium. I always call it tritanium, sorry. Uh, let's get a f option first. Happiness, I don't think we need to worry about that too much. Let's hit that so we can start working on minor sieves once we find them. Okay, solo quest started. A new world. We left Arugia millennia ago. But to us, it feels like yesterday. Stumbling, slumbering in our pods aboard the Argosy. Time was only marked by cold, fleeting dreams gone over centuries. Upon awakening, I could still remember a million details of the day of our departure. The biting winter winds, the smell of ash fires along with the route to the vessel, the bone-shaking rumble of the end, speared into the icy depths of space and Arugi seeded to nothing. Most of all, the guilt, black and heavy, pit of my stomach for the kin we left behind. I might have been overwhelmed by those memories had it not been for the crisis that greeted my awakening. Our fully restored craft, the life-saving Argosy, suffered a grievous wound, some cataclysmic explosion had knocked its off course, playing havoc with our systems. Oppot, brave, loyal Oppot, did everything it could to avert catastrophe and get us back on course, but even its heroic effort weren't enough. Eventually, the power faded and left to drift. It is nothing less than a miracle that we awoke, circling this endless ruin of drift in space. Our priority was setting Settling a world and surviving. The planet is not a home, it will at least be a refuge. And so here we are, possibly safe, yet immediately plunged into another crisis. No sooner had we planted the vaulter flag into this alien soil that we lost our talisman, the ancient machine who saved so many of us by guiding us through the long night. Opbot had disappeared. He scoured the local caverns and crevices, the cliffs, the bogs, Tops, scanning the wilderness. The truth is even stranger. As we skim, I hear news from the base. The rushing wind and the radio crackle unable to disguise them. One of the interstellar shuttles is missing, the voice says. Oppot must have left the system. So we do we build defensive and ship improvements or build scientific improvements. Ay 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 ay. Um rather the trip at this point, but I also don't want to lose our significant advantage, sort of give the middle first a big bump in politics, uh, for basically, it's really, well, it's a good thing when we get, actually, this is probably really good too, because of production bump, like that. Also helps keep scientists in power, Argosy is ready to go. Good, the Argosy can head for a remote 